Hi, my name's Phil. I like talking about politics. And in this video, I'd like to kick off with the standards report into Chris Pincher's uh, misbehaviour, what it will mean for a likely by-election and uh, how the right wing seem to be missing a few things in their criticism of the suspension length. But first, if you'd like to be notified of daily news and politics, please subscribe to the channel. So we're doing this live because this has all come out uh, and I needed to get this one out for noon. I'll tell you why I want to do this video for noon because there's some more... There's some more stuff coming out today. I gather we're supposed to be getting the uh, conclusion from uh, the judicial review from the COVID inquiry trying to get information from the government. So that is very likely as long as it comes out in time to be my 5 p.m. So the Chris Pincher scandal, for those who don't remember, Chris Pincher is the person who basically brought down Boris Johnson. So Boris Johnson appointed Chris Pincher to deputy chief whip. Now, that means that he is one of the people that if a Conservative MP had a complaint to make about, say, I don't know, sexual harassment, they would have to go to someone like Chris Pincher. But Chris Pincher himself was a bit of a sex pest. And in fact, the uh, cause of this Standards Committee investigation was because of um, he abused a couple of people in a club, like a private club. Again, going back a, a bit over a year ago. And this all sort of triggered it all. And Tory MP said, well, you can't have someone like this uh, who's, who's, you know, dealing with our complaints. Boris Johnson, as always, learned no lessons. No lessons at all. He's, he said there was nothing. What's the problem? I don't see the problem. Because he only appointed people into senior positions who showed loyalty to him. That was his only criterion. Are they loyal to Big Dog? Yes, then they shall have the job. That was it. Nothing else. No other considerations. So in the end, Tory MPs had decided they'd absolutely had enough of them at that point. Boris Johnson went. But the Standards Committee investigation has now been concluded. And they have said that Chris Pincher should receive a punishment of eight weeks. Now, that will immediately mean almost certainly a by-election. So the process now is, first of all, the suspension isn't automatically applied. Uh, MPs will have to vote on it. Uh, there's, there's two weeks before Parliament goes into recess before the summer. That's plenty of time for this to be laid before the House. It will almost certainly be laid before the House next week. Tory MPs will 100% vote for this, bearing in mind it is Conservative MPs who were so personally appalled by Pincher's behaviour and particularly that he was in charge of dealing with complaints. So they will have no love for him at all. There will be some Conservative MPs who will, of course, vote against it, believing the suspension is too long, as was the case for Margaret Ferrier and then Boris Johnson. But mostly it will all be voted through very easily. So there's not a problem there. There will then be a recall petition issued. Uh, that lasts for about uh, eight weeks, something like that, uh, in his constituency of Tamworth. And if 10% of registered voters sign that petition, then there will be a by-election triggered. Now, the recall petition will be running through September, uh, through uh, summer, sorry, it should finish sometime in September, unless it, I mean, it could finish really quickly. Then it will be up to the Conservatives to move the writ for the by-election. They get a bit of say on it because it's their seat. Um, I imagine Rishi Sunak will... I don't know when he would want to aim. It will, it will clear the Conservative Party conference anyway. Whether he would want it in October or wait for November, I don't know. I suspect he might go again, try and get it as early as he can do, because it will definitely be after the conference anyway. It may end up being on the same day as Mid-Bedfordshire if Nadine Doris decides to resign uh, at some point, which she hasn't yet. And this one, polling would suggest Labour should take this seat. It looks reasonably comfortable, reasonably comfortable to the point where there'd still need to be a good campaign. But if we look at the past, you know, by-election campaigning, Labour are actually doing a solid job on their campaigning, in fact, quite a good job. Um, the Conservatives is absolutely shocking. I will point out again, and I may have to keep mentioning this, that Rishi Sunak has not been out to campaign, as far as I am aware. There's certainly not been a high-profile visit to any of the three by-elections he is fighting in two weeks. He hasn't been there. Bear in mind, the postal ballots are already out now. So there's people voting. There's a good, 
you know, maybe a quarter of people voting in some places, and he hasn't gone. Senior Labour figures, including Keir Starmer, have been campaigning. Why hasn't Rishi Sunak anywhere in any of those constituencies? He could lose all three. That would be very damaging to him. So that can only mean that either he is that scared of the public or he thinks that he has a negative impact on the Conservatives' reputation. So he actually thinks he'd be a vote loser. Well, that's not a great position for the Tories to be in, is it? But never mind that. I thought it worth also bringing in how the right wing are going on about this, the, particularly the Johnson fans. So I've seen them on, on social media today going, oh, this is outrageous. Eight weeks suspension. That's even that's even less than Boris Johnson get. Well, this is much more serious. And, and this is disgraceful. And it just shows what a stitch up Boris Johnson suspension was. And they seem to be missing a few things, don't they? They seem to be missing something. First of all, Boris Johnson's suspension was actually less than Chris Pincher's. What they're forgetting is that Boris Johnson's suspension was raised to 90 days because, specifically because, he kept attacking the committee. Like, in mitigation for Chris Pincher, the Standards Committee said that he showed contrition. He expressed uh, his... Uh, he he apologised to the victims. Uh, again, may or may not have been genuine, but he expressed that contrition. He cooperated with the committee and he accepted responsibility. So the committee report notes that, therefore it's eight weeks. The implication being if he hadn't done that, it would have been more than eight weeks. Boris Johnson attacked the committee, showed no contrition, took no responsibility. And as a result, the Privileges Committee report, it says, said that the suspension went from blah to blah because of that. So in actual fact, they're talking out of their hats. The uh, Chris Pincher suspension, if everything else had been the same, if their respective attitudes had been the same, the Chris Pincher one would have been more than Boris Johnson's. So that is a nonsense. That's just them whining again. Uh, but there we are anyway. Uh, those are my thoughts. Let me know yours in the comments below. Uh, and until next time, which I think the next one might be uh, another little spicy one, if that judicial review verdict is given. Um, but until next time, I'll see you later.